Why is a low blood sugar for people living with type 1 diabetes, why is it set at 70 milligrams per deciliter or 3.8? But then for people who don't have diabetes, a low is set at 55. I think the answer to this is kind of fascinating. We all start feeling the symptoms of a low at different points. Some of us are hypoglycemic unaware, and others, we feel it as soon as we get to double digits. Somebody with a healthy functioning pancreas, as soon as their blood sugar reaches 54, that's the magic number, 54, two things happen. First, the heart starts to beat a little bit faster to get an increased blood flow to the brain so that they can think clearly. And the second is glucagon. The very second that the blood hits a low of 54, the body will trigger a healthy pancreas to release glycogen to get blood sugar back up. Now, glycogen is stored in the liver, it's in muscles, it's in tissue, it's all over the body. But for those of us with type 1, our body's trying to do the same thing. That epinephrine response when we go low, that's, that's just adrenaline. When that hits, it tells our body, hey, listen, stop making insulin, release glucagon to raise our blood sugar, and we should be fine except for us with type 1, we're not. The natural response by our body isn't getting our pancreas to do anything, which is why anything below a 70 is considered low for us, because we have to have more time to go eat food,